Hi everyone, welcome to this coloured pencil blending tutorial. In this project I'll show you step by step how we can easily blend the colours using a heat gun. I hope you will like it. For this video I'm using Honeymool sketch paper which is 100% cotton and 140 grams per meter square. I'll use prism color colored pencils and a colorless blender, a craft knife and of course the heat gun. You can use a hairdryer if you don't have a heat gun. The pencils colors hues I've used are listed in the description. I started by drawing the apple with an indigo blue colored pencil. Next I started to shade with a very sharp indigo blue pencil with very light pressure and using shape following strokes. It is very important to keep your coloured pencils nice and sharp. As I approached the light area I made the layer less dense. I used the same pencil for the cast shadow with the same point and pressure. Now I applied a layer of Tuscan red over the indigo blue using the same sharp point and light pressure. Now I applied a layer of Spanish orange at the center bottom of the apple and in the area adjacent to the shadow and yellowed orange on the light side of the apple. Again, with light pressure and a sharp point following the contour of the apple, I left an area without any color for the highlight. I made the shadow around the stem darker with Tuscan red and the light area adjacent. I used cream at the top and sand on the bottom with a little bit of olive green over the sand pencil. So basically you keep adding layers of colors then using the heat making it easier to blend the colors. You can add as many layers as you want. If you would like to see the real time tutorial please go to my Patreon page linked in the description and you can watch 30 minutes of this video. The pigments blend a lot faster and a lot easier when the surface is hot than when it's cold. Besides, it does make easier for burnishing the colors without making blisters on your fingers. Voila, the apple is done. You can apply more layers, heat and blend if you wish, as long as you wait until the surface is cool and be careful to not completely saturate the tooth of the paper. If that happens and the paper won't accept any more pigment, spray a couple of light coats of workable fixative and that will allow you to continue layering without any problem. I really hope you enjoyed making this project with me. Thank you so much for your support. And if you would like to see more tutorials like this in other medium, leave a comment or message me. I would love to know your opinions too.